Hi guys, it's Thomas here from CO2Base.com. Welcome to our newest video on how to use the ICOT intraday indicator with after signal. So obviously the first step you want to do is add the indicator. So we're going to add ICOT with after signal. This is the basic version. This is with after signal. I do recommend adding the scores. If you've been analyzing classic COT data like myself, uh, you're used to having uh, COT charts underneath your price chart. Obviously, this is not COT data. It is our own indicator, but it does measure stresses in the market. And of course, all the signals are coming from the scores themselves. Okay, so as you can see, we have the indicator on the chart. We have stripe signals, bearish stripe signals, and then the system acting on them shorting the market we have bullish stripe signals and then the system acting on it um, let's have a look at what do we see here uh, before I jump to the after signal explanation just for those who are new to the ICOT intraday indicator over here you can set the limits for which the signals will appear marker data this is focused on commercials the red line over here and over here you can see uh, we have a scale from plus 100 to minus 100 and depending on where you set the limit the signal will appear so currently by default for commercials we are setting markers between plus 70 reading and minus 70. for large speculators or speculators we are um, setting the limit between 85 and minus 85 a little bit more um, we need more from from uh, speculators to get a signal okay so that's why it's important to have the scores underneath here uh, you can see what that does but let's scroll down to this area signal series so this I believe is the most important thing you got to understand with the after signal what type of signals will you act upon by default it is set for stripe any meaning any stripe signal let it be a bearish or a bullish stripe signal you will act on those you can change this you can say that well actually i'm focusing on only commercials and commercials have these markers these yellow diamonds so i want to focus on only commercials maybe long maybe short or both you may want to focus on speculators candle long candle short or any long or short you can focus on stripe signals maybe just long maybe just short or both and then of course we have all the signal types and in both directions so let's switch to any any just so that we see what that does to our chart this is any any now if you've seen my introduction video to the uh, icot intraday indicator with after signal uh, you may remember that i suggested putting two indicators on your chart at the same time. And why did I say that? The reason is that the indicator can only focus on one trade at a time. But what if we have two? What if we have two? And what if we say that one of them will be focused on only uh, signals that are pointing to the bullish side, any long signals, and the other one we will have pointing to the bearish side any short okay because you know why can't you have two trades at the same time you can open along at this point in time and you can you know take a short or you know just close that long um, you know hedge against that position so of course this is just one example you can set it any, any way you want you can add more indicators if you wanted to but this is one example okay now let's choose one trade and i'm going to choose this sell signal over here so temporarily i'm going to take down the other indicator because it will be more clear and i can better explain to you the different lines that we have because you may be asking tom what is this red line over here what is this what is this blue line let me explain this to you well the red line is a stop line the blue we call it the confirmation line so if you've been using the ICOT intraday indicator you may have come across situations when you are getting signal after signal but the market is still going higher so with the after signal what we have created 
is a filtering mechanism. Um, and with this blue line, uh, this uh, confirmation line, you can actually have the market prove itself. And right now, by default, you can see over here, we want the market to close at least once beneath the confirmation line. So as you can see, we get the signal, we get the confirmation line, and at this particular candlestick that was able to close beneath the confirmation line, we get this sell signal. Obviously, right away, we get the stop line as well. You can say that I'm a little bit more conservative and I want the market to prove even more. And I want to have two closes beneath the confirmation line. You can do that. Absolutely. You can change the sensitivity of the confirmation line itself. You can do it over here. It's not going to be too visible. I'm going to just change it to one. And it will take a bit of time. But you can see over here, just focus your eyes on the blue line, that it will change a little bit. Okay? And you can, you can change that even more if you wanted to. Now, this is the entry part of the trade. What about exiting the trade? Okay, so let me show you something over here. One might say, and this is just an example, Tom, the, the red line, the stop line is too close to my market. If that's your opinion, then hey, there's a solution for that. The stop line ATR multiplicator can be changed. And if I change it from three to four, you see what just happened? You will be in this trade along the way. Now, of course, there could be certain situations when this is too risky. It's up to you to decide, but it's an, it's an option. You can change that. Okay, let's have a look at stop close. Okay, so here we have the chart closer. And we can determine when do we want to exit the trade right now. The stop line close number is set to four. That means that we require the market to close one, two, three, four times before we get a signal to get out of my trade. You might ask, well, hey, we have been above. Well, here we went above the stop line, but we actually closed underneath. The, the next candle closed underneath. We did close once, but we actually went below. So we start counting again. One, two, three, four, we get out. If you want to get out earlier, okay, if you want to have a more sensitive um, exit requirement, then you can take, the, take this down to one. And of course, you will exit sooner. Or right away, zero. And exit as soon as the market closes above the zero line. Pardon me, the, the stop line. Okay, so that's the way you can set your uh, after signal. So again, you start off by setting the ICOT intraday indicator sensitivity. When do you want to get your signals? Once you have that, you can choose which signals you want to act upon. So I believe and I'm hopeful that this video was able to show you how you can set your indicators, uh, the ICOT intraday indicator with after signal. If it's just one, then one. If it's two, both of them. And obviously, you need to investigate that specific market, uh, how it has performed in the past. Uh, because there could be markets where you will have uh, to change those uh, uh, limits for the signals. Or it could be that you're trading on a different time scale or your, your, your specific trading strategy determines. There's a lot of aspects on how you want to set it. But one thing's for sure, I believe the after signal will give you all the tools necessary to really benefit uh, from the intraday indicator signals. And um, I'm hopeful that you will be able to use this to your success. I uh, thank you very much for your attention.
If you have any questions, always feel free to send us an email to info at cotbase.com. You can comment underneath the video as well, and we'll do our very best to answer you as soon as possible. We are thrilled to be able to give you this tool. It's something that uh, we've been working a lot on. And I'm very, very proud that it's here and you can start using it. So thank you once again for your attention. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, we're here to help you. Take care. Goodbye.